Hey there. I wanted to make a video about how to get started meditating. It's a question that I've received from a few friends and family members and just wanted to give a high level overview on how to get started and yeah, maybe some ideas on how to keep the practice too. Um, but there's just a few things I want to work through. Uh, the first being environment, the second length of time, how long should we meditate, the third frequency, how frequently should we, should we be meditating, um, the fourth posture, how should we sit, and the final thing, technique, what technique should we be using to meditate. So starting with environment, um, I highly recommend just a quiet place, just a dark or dimly lit quiet place. Um, now before I get into that though, I want to clarify that this video is about main creating and maintaining a formal meditation practice. Um, and that meaning setting aside a designated time to toward meditation um, whereas informally meditation is something that can be done wherever you are whenever you know whether you're waiting in line or you know hanging out by the subway <laughs> whatever it might be you can meditate but this video in particular is discussing how to go about uh, maintaining a formal or starting a formal meditation practice. So again, in regards to environment, somewhere that's quiet, somewhere that's dimly lit, um, there's no need to really see anything. Um, our eyes will be closed. So yeah, no need for light. Let's, you know, this is a time to go inward. Um, another helpful tip here is to, if you have roommates or loved ones that you live with, um, you know, it's likely that if you're just starting meditating, they might not know that you're doing this. And so it's helpful to let them know that, hey, um, I'm setting aside just a couple minutes, um, during this time, maybe shooting them a text or like a Facebook message or something and just, you know, depending on your relationship, maybe it's super informal and there's someone who will just knock on your door and say, hey, what's up? Um, letting them know, like, for the next few minutes, I'm going to be busy. And so this helps to reduce distraction. So keeping that environment quiet and calm is a, it's a great place to start. Um, so yeah, just, I think your bedroom, this is, that's where I meditate, is a great place to get started. Or if you have a quieter room in your house, that's good as well. But I do recommend choosing just one spot and sticking to that spot. Um, the idea here being to reduce Reduce the amount of decision making that's needed each and every day. That if you keep it in the same spot, that's it. No decisions made. Just go and sit, and it's one less thing to think about. So that's in regards to environment. Um, the next thing I want to get into is time, the length of time. How long should we be meditating for? And if you're watching this video, you know, maybe you've never meditated before. So I think a good place to get started would just be for one minute. I think one minute would be sufficient. And, you know, from there you can set higher goals. You can go to five minutes the next time or 10 minutes and work your way up to 20 minutes or even an hour. Um, but one minute is just so doable and there's no excuse. You can carve out one minute of your day for this activity. And it's just a very low barrier to entry. So anyone, anyone can do it. 
and you'll find that you know after the minute will you know it may it may go by slowly it may may go by quickly but i have confidence that you can sit there for a minute and you'll come out feeling um like you've achieved something and it'll inspire you for future sits to up that time and to gradually increase and set higher and higher goals but then again you know this is less about uh duration of the sit and more about intention um so it's good asking yourself what is my intention going into this and just be with that you know maybe you don't have time to do 10 minutes um whereas maybe your usual practice is for 20 minutes um you know set that intention that i'm looking to um be in the moment or st stay with my breath for as long as possible um even though my time length or my time allocation is less today all right so for frequency how frequently should we be meditating um the way i look at this is uh very similar to well you can think of it two ways one being working out and the second being cleaning or showering um so in the same way that we work out and we shower at least once or twice a day so too are we working out and cleaning our minds twice a day um so what i do is i meditate in the morning and I also meditate in the evening. Um, the idea being I'm working out, I'm prepping my mind, I'm concentrating it um, before the day begins. And after the day has ended, after I've gone through so much input um, to just connect to myself, um, to end the day on that note, um, I think is, is a really great way to think about it. So if you're starting out with one minute um, I'd recommend doing one minute in the morning, one minute in the evening, and start that routine and stick with that and commit to that and work your way up from there. All right, so in regards to timing also, I've, I highly recommend using a timer. Um, there's an app called Insight Timer that I use, and I really like this app. Um, it's very straightforward. It just gives you one bell once the med meditation has begun. You set your time limit and there's one bell or how you can program however many bells you'd like to have, um, whether that be two or three or even like a halfway bell, I believe you can program. Um, but there's another bell once the meditation ends. So it's very straightforward in that way. It also tracks your meditations. So if you're into that, um, you can see how long you've been med meditating in the past and make sure that you are um, hitting your goals, I guess, so to speak. But one of the huge perks that I like about this Insight Timer is that a journal pops up um, as soon as you're done meditating. And so I've, I find this to have uh, a lot of value in my life. Um, you know, many times I skip it and I'll just write like a smiley face and I've kind of gotten into that habit recently. Um, but I'll go through phases of life where, you know, I find it very beneficial to, um, you know, after meditating, after cleaning or working out my mind to then, you know, if maybe it's morning to then journal and say, what are my intentions for the day? And then maybe if it's evening, how did today go? What are my intentions for the next day? Um, use your journal how you'd like. That's just what how I do it. Um, so yeah, that app is Insight Timer. And I'll link to that in the description for the video. All right. Um, finally, it's time to start meditating. So I'll explain just a little bit about posture. Um, so... In informal meditation, these are always seated meditations, so you can either sit in a chair or you can sit on the ground and sit cross-legged. There's no need to get fancy with any lotus or half lotus, just whatever's comfortable for you. 
Um, there's no need to get fancy with any hand postures or mudras, as they call them. Um, you know, let's just stick to the fundamentals and go from there. <laughs> um, so yeah, just take a seat. And what you're gonna wanna do is, you know, sit up straight, back straight, neck straight, and, but remain comfortable at the same time, be comfortable and sustainable. There's no reason to like force yourself and exert a lot of energy in your posture. Um, you might be here a while. Maybe it's just a minute, maybe it's 20 minutes, maybe it's an hour, but you know, make sure you're comfortable and that you can hold that posture for the set duration of your meditation. And it's very common to slouch, to start to lean over. Um, you know, this is something I'm still experiencing. So if you're experiencing this, don't beat yourself up about it. Just catch yourself, be aware that you, you are slouching in that moment and slowly but surely, you know, raise yourself back up into a seated posture. Um, in regards to what, what to do with your hands, you know, just place them on top of your knees, that's sufficient. Um, if you're sitting in a chair, place your feet um, on, on the ground firmly. And if you're sitting cross-legged on the ground, it helps to have your hips elevated slightly above your knees um, so that your knees are coming into contact with the earth. Or if you can't do that, that's fine. But what that does for you is it kind of makes your body like a tripod. So you have three points of contact with the earth. It's very stable, it's sustainable. And otherwise, you know, you might find yourself leaning certain ways. All right, well, the next piece is the actual technique. What technique should you be using? Well, there's many, many different techniques of meditation, but the simplest, but not the easiest <laughs> uh, meditation is just simply being aware and non-judgmental toward having a non-judgmental attitude towards your breath. So I'll explain what that means. So we're sitting in meditation, um, you know, we're in a dark, quiet room, dimly lit, seated, good posture, our timer's ready to go, and we close our eyes. Okay. The next step is we close our mouth. So that, that, so that this way, our breath is only flowing in and out of our nostrils. And what this allows us to do is refine our attention. So what we'll do is bring our attention to this area in between our nostrils, but above our upper lip. But it's up to you. You can widen this area of awareness toward the entire nostrils, like to the entire nose, or just keep it above the upper lip. But place your attention on the breath and just allow yourself to breathe. Don't try and control your breath. Um, you know, there are yogic postures such as the ujjayi breath um, or the pranayama breath in which you're stoking or controlling your breath. And in this type of meditation, there's no need to control anything. You know, throughout our daily lives, we're constantly controlling things. So this is an opportunity to surrender control and just observe for just a few minutes. And so yeah, just bring your attention to the breath as it comes in and out of the nostrils and just observe what's happening without judgment. Um, maybe the breath is shallow, maybe the breath is deep, but whatever it is, just remain with that. Don't try and control your breath. Don't try and make it be deep if it's shallow. Don't try and make it be shallow if it's deep. Just be with it as it is. And as you observe, you will see that it continues to change on its own. 
that there's no need to force change upon it. So that's the technique is placing your attention on the breath as it comes in and out of the nostrils and you'll just find that that alone is just so difficult um, that the mind will bring you out of that, right? You'll sink into thoughts um, of the future or the present, or rather the future or the past, you know, oh, I shouldn't have said that, I can't believe that person said this to me, or, you know, what should I be doing after this, you know, planning future events, and just don't, you know, don't yank your attention back to the breath, but just observe, okay, I'm thinking, and there no, there's no reason to even tell yourself I'm thinking, but, you know, slowly but surely move your attention calmly back to the breath. And so this is the practice. That's the entire practice is just being aware of what's going on in your mind, inside your body. And as your mind drifts into thought, you just simply bring it back to the breath. And again, simple, but not easy. And another couple hurdles uh, that you'll face, especially in the beginning, is swallowing like that. I know it was a, a big one for me at first, having to get over it basically and just accept that it's a phase and it'll pass. Um, but do your best to just observe it. You know, there's no need to swallow. There's no need to fidget around or to move. Your body's going to want to move. Um, you're going to be itchy. Itches will arise in the face and it'll be super strong. You'll definitely want to cave and give in, but just stay with it and observe. And the idea here is that that discomfort that you're facing, that itchiness, that pain, that wasn't there when you sat down to, to begin your meditation. And it came from somewhere, it doesn't matter where, but eventually it will leave. That if it wasn't there before, so too one day it will be gone. Um, so just observe it, it might feel like it's remaining there forever. Um, but as long as you're sitting with that discomfort and being non-judgmental and just bringing your attention back to the breath, you'll find that those sensations will pass. Um, same, and the same uh, strategy also works with thought as well. That so long as we're bringing our attention back to the breath, that those thoughts, that, that habit pattern, that chain of rolling around in thought and attaching to thought um, and following a string of thoughts will um, pass so long as we let it. All right, you guys, well, that's pretty much all I have. Um, this is a long video, it's already at 18 minutes. I'm assuming if you've made it this far that you are someone who is looking to establish a meditation practice. Um, so I invite you to do that today and commit and don't commit tomorrow because it's just never going to get done. Um, you know, if you commit to tomorrow, it's going to be the next day and then it's going to be the next week and the next month. Um, for whatever reason, you found yourself here listening to this long video. Um, so commit today for just one minute you know, download your meditation app, whether that's Inside Timer or Headspace. If you're looking for guided meditations, I actually highly recommend Headspace for beginners if you are looking um, for guidance. Um, but yeah, you can do it. Just commit for <laughs> one minute in the morning, one minute in the evening and work your way up and see how that feels for your schedule. And just begin experimenting. Um, see what works for you. Um, begin to observe how truly crazy our minds are. And yeah, I just wish you the best in, um, in your practice. And I invite you to you know, make friends with yourself 
and your mind and don't be too hard on yourself or so or so judgmental that it's it's easy to beat ourselves up and thinking that the practice is to remain with the breath and not get absorbed in thought and while that is a piece of it um i do think that it's just as if not more important to be kind to yourself to learn that um self-compassion is just as important as cultivating your attention um so yeah i wish you the best in your practice i will detail out this list of instructions in the video in the video's notes and I've also written a couple of pieces about meditation and getting started with meditation on my blog. So I'll link to that. Um, it's called thinkingwithdavid.com. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I have for you. So best of luck and I wish you the best. <laughs> Thank you.